We're right here, gonna proof test the barrel. Uh, I've got two sizes of ball, 0.389 diameter and 0.395 diameter and patches of every thickness you can get. I've already pre-tested these. I can get the thickest ball with the thickest patch down clean. So we're gonna do that and light and thin everything up as the testing goes. Now I think we're going to do a standard charge one ball and this is a 40 caliber so a standard charge will be 40 grains and a double charge will be 80 grains of 3F Go X, 3F G Go X. So we're going to do a standard charge one ball, a standard charge two ball, a double charge one ball, a double charge two ball. And if it survives that, then we'll call it proof tested. We have standard charge one ball. We are at double charge, double ball, because I only have two lengths of fuses left. So hopefully we can get this to go first time. Wouldn't want you to miss this. Famous last words. Well, that was a hell of a boom. we go double charge double ball let's do that one more time to make sure that wasn't a fluke I've got an idea and I don't recommend it fast burning black powder here and slow burning pyrodex I guess that's it. I got it clear. No expended charge from the barrel, but it survived one double charge, double ball. There we got it. Yeah, I can forge weld. I'll go clean this, make sure this ain't gonna catch no fires, and we'll come back to you. Okay, we just got done cleaning the barrel. Nothing up here. This was already here. 
had absolutely no swelling, no nothing back here. You'll notice the breech plug is different. I did not like the first one because it did not fully weld up against the front. And I messed up the threads during fitting. So that's why this video is so late. This is actually the third breech plug. I messed up the second breech plug as well, trying to fit it. And I'm not quite happy with the fit up on this one. You see there's still some gap in there. So I'm probably going to take this out and fit that back up, but I really want to get this proof tested. And, uh, pass. You, those, uh, double ball, double chargers had quite a bit of uh, recoil to them. They, this tang was straight with some slight curve backwards, and now it's, de it's bent it right at the uh, finial neck. But as it barrels proof tested, and I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the top five flats and leave the bottom ones rough. So that way it shows that it was hand forged. But uh, I've, got, I've got them cleaned up enough to where I'll be able to inlet into the stock just fine and it won't have too many eccentricities to uh, mess me up or mess up the, uh, the inlet. I think the next video, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll fit this up, clean it up better off camera, but I think the next video is uh, we will rough out the stock for this pistol. And I think I'm going to loosely base it off a, uh, a drawing I have. Let me go get that real quick. This here, this came with uh, one of the books on muzzleloader, muzzleloader building that I got. I forget which one, but it's a full scale one to one uh, of an authentic pistol. And we have just enough barrel to recreate this thing. So I think this is going to be the rough template. I ain't going to recreate this exact, but this is going to be the rough template of uh, our stock that we're going to inlet this barrel and future lock into. Thanks for following along. I'll see you in the next video.